Take what they give you, but be aggressive. From the 32, second and nine. Down the field they go, and it is a touchdown to Dalton Schultz. Aggressive they were. Split safety means the safeties are wide, and Dalton Schultz is one-on-one -on -one right down the middle on Perryman. See the Jones family look bleak a little bit ago, didn't it? That third down, Vegas had the ball. One-on-one -on -one right down the middle, Dalton Schultz. Very underrated tight end. Dak says thank you. And right now, two-point conversion, Jim. The Cowboys in the season are three for seven. When running it, Jim, they score all the time. When they pass it, no. <laughs> so you should run it. Going for the tie. But they're not playing. Fakes, throws. It's Schultz again, and this game is tied at 30. What a play design. This is Kellen Winslow. All day. Here's going to come. Watch out here. This is a pick. He's going to go up here, but you can't really hit him too much. Boom. Right out into the flat. Dalton Schultz. Watch this. It's simply make 24 run right through him. And that's... Uh. And I meant Kellen Moore, by the way. But... Great play call, and Dak Prescott engineers the drive. There's Kellen Moore. Prescott goes over 300 yards on that drive. His numbers now, look at this, in the quarter, 161 yards. That's half the total for the day for him has come in this quarter. He's at 321 overall, pair of touchdowns, and now the Raiders get the football back. You look at Carr's numbers, they're almost identical. What a Thanksgiving special this has been. It is. They might want to make a 30 for 30 on this one one of these days. <laughs> 30 to 30 is the score. I see what you did there. I oh, just, oh, just throwing it out there. Third and three. If they fail to do anything here, would they call on Carlson from 56 yards? Well, you got man-to-man -man coverage, so you're going to pick out some of your best players. you got to go across the field. Stuff going right across the field. Here's Carr. Across the middle, no flag intended for Moreau. Again, Parsons was creating havoc in the backfield and forced the quarterback to get rid of it. And this is all Parsons. See this man to man? You can't run a route that just stops right in the middle, a little one. You got to run across the field and go. But look at Parsons on your bottom 11. The ball has to come out because your stud draft pick just allowed you a chance to maybe win this game. Go ahead, Jib. Career long 55. This is 56. Again, if you miss, Cowboys get the ball at the 46. This for the lead with 1.57 to go. Carlson, kick. And it is good. Oh, my gosh, what a game. What a kick. The game's over if he misses that because you're giving the ball back. Look at the 46. 46-yard line right there with a minute 52. They just need 10 yards, basically. Wow. What a clutch kick on Thanksgiving. You know your family's watching everybody. Are you Everybody's a good kicker watching. or no? Well, yes, I am. Carlson, let's see what you do when you make it. Let's see. What does he do? Yeah, that's me. He looks Got like that. he was absolutely resolute, was never going to miss it. <laughs> Four out of five on the year from 50 plus. And Carr able to drive them in field goal range with that drive starter that pass play to, to Sean Jackson and now the Cowboys Mark Davis Man, we were never gonna miss him. What hey, are you you all along that was a foregone conclusion 152 a lot of time left Cowboys with two timeouts still a ton of time I can't believe what just happened I mean when it was 27 21 22 two. 22 it was like hmm no, some other score. What was it? Uh, was it 27 20? We had 27 19. We had 7 27 22. Been a lot. Anyway, 30 like, 22 and 30 30. You just now didn't 33 think, 30. You wouldn't think five minutes ago it was going to be 33 30 and Dak had the ball to go in with a minute 52. Two timeouts. This is an eternity. You definitely could do it. Again, the one time they didn't get the touchback, they paid the penalty with Pollard taking it to 100 for the touchdown. Now, here you go, Prescott. 17 career game winning drives the last one we saw it the overtime win week six at new england he just made some insanely high level throws 
And that last drive does that again. They're going to win this game. Remember, no turnovers, no sacks on these type of drives. You got four downs if you need it, obviously. There's the pass and tried to thread it, and the Raiders converge, including Trufant. Gallup was the target. Wow, this was, you're going to see, watch Trufant. It's a great play right here, but that is very dicey. By the way, Ngakwe is back out there. Remember, he was shaken up, then he did the uh, somersault to get off the field, so he's fine. They're going to need him. This first play, like the first and second play are huge, and it's like you can't have another incompletion, and then everything gets oh, very tight and restricted. You just need to get something moving forward. Right second and ten, Wilson has the first down. Cowboys hurry up. Plenty of time. That was an 11 yard gain. Yeah, and it's just a good design, empty formation, pressure. I'd get up a little tighter. Listen, you can bail out of there, but don't get up these easy ones underneath if you're the Raiders. Uh, they do go underneath. It's going to be a pickup of about four as Noah Brown gets thrown down by Abram. Give him five. Plenty of time. No reason to use the timeouts yet. Keep going up on the ball. And if they give you the short stuff, throw it. Prescott. They take the short stuff again to the 43. Pick up of two. Now you got a third and three. Now you got a third and three with a minute to go, clock running. Take your time. Get to a good play here, and if you're on the side of the Raiders, be aggressive. Now you can try and make this into a one-play game. Oh, and some pass. Raiders went for the interception, and it's caught instead by Gallup. Levitt tried to make a play on the ball, and it went right through his hands. I can't believe, I mean, this <laughs> is such a close one. Jack Prescott fits it in there. You're going to see right up there. Timeout called by Dallas. Oh, wow. I think Gallup was even surprised. It got right past Through the there. hand. Yep. Big time throw by Dak Prescott. Again, coming up, the State Farm Post Game Show. JB, Phil, Nate, Boomer, Coach Cower sitting on the edge of their seats back in the studio at the Broadcast Center in New York. Coming up on the State Farm Post Game Show. Cowboys at the 39 of the Raiders. What do you look for right here, Tony? I'd stay aggressive, like you're in field goal, but you gotta get closer. Just play as if you're still, just can kick down the field. There's the pass, and again, it's caught by Wilson. We got a player hurt, it's Perriman of the Raiders. It's a good throw by Dak inside on a curl route. Zerline, who's not had the best of days yet, right, today? Now he missed from the, the PAT, and then he missed the 50-yard field goal plus in the first half. Missed from 59, so not that that's supposed to be automatic. So this is going to be a timeout for the Raiders as soon as someone's hurt this late. Each team now has one remaining. Which, which isn't the worst thing to give your team a break because now you're probably not going to have time getting the ball back. So Coach Versace is like, keep them out of the end zone. They're already in field goal range. Versace, so proud and honored and grateful to be the coach of this team from Yonkers, New York, to Yankton College up in South Dakota to a day on Thanksgiving where he's leading the Raiders and trying to pull the upset on the road. But the Cowboys have a first down at the 29. And a whistle. Ooh. What is this? Medical timeout. <laughs> He's got oh, Hobbs is coming off the field. Because someone called in and said upstairs he, said yeah. they've got to check him. Pointing to Hockley pointing to his own head, saying that it's been called down exactly. It's an ATC spotter from upstairs who sees that and what a time. Yeah, that's a big what one. What a time with 37 seconds. Sometimes they might even change your call depending upon how many defensive backs you have up and people ready, but Waller watches. Prescott ready to go. 207 yards passing in this quarter alone. You'll have a chance of someone deep there, but the Raiders should not allow it. To the sideline. Elliott out of bounds after the short game. 32 seconds. Great job. Jack, getting out of bounds and just getting a first down or two. You got one timeout. This is actually a really interesting spot here because 
The Raiders aren't giving up a touchdown, theoretically, right? So you're going to be able to throw it underneath because they're already in field range, so you can use it. To me, you're going to go up here, run someone off, have someone come out. High snap, Prescott brings it and defended by Trufant, denying Schultz. Schultz looks around and says, didn't he have an arm on me? No flag this time. Well, I showed you that side, Jim, but they just do it over here. And you just look. Give the Raiders credit. Even though they're protecting the end zone, they're not threatened by the tight end and the running back going deep, right? Cowboys need to do the same thing on the other side. But it's third and eight. And tough call. 28 seconds. Crosby and Ngakwe would love to pounce. The move Gallup to the near side. Here's Dak. Down the middle. No flag. Oh my goodness. They they ran the one-on-one -on -one coverage again, but Perriman wasn't on him this time. You remember earlier, uh, right down the middle this time, they put Robertson, but Schultz says, get out of here, and he's kind of open, but I didn't see much of. Third line comes out, Tony. There. 45 yards, it's going to be right on the number. 45 yards to tie it at 24 seconds. Would you ice him and call a timeout? We've got one left. Or do you save it if he makes it and try to do something after the kickoff? Here's the kick from 45 for the tie. Zerline delivers. Car and company, only 19 seconds left in regulation with one timeout. Zerline clutch with that one. Wow. And what a, what a like fourth quarter, right, for the Cowboys. I mean, Amazing. both teams are playing. This is really good football. Dak Prescott, I mean, you're going to look up and be like, oh, my gosh, look at his numbers. This game's incredible. And it's like he's just picked it up so much late, especially, and Jerry Jones loves it. On Thanksgiving, you guys are getting a real treat. Oh, man. What a game. Cowboys have never led in this game. Ugh. They've tied the game twice in the last three minutes. You got Carr at 365 yards passing, Prescott at 369. They've been running parallel numbers most of the day, four on four, if you will, answering back and forth. My goodness. Part of that is just, you know, as the game wears on, Defensive players, short week, you know. That's what's happened today a little bit with the penalties and missed tackles. But the other thing is the scheme. You can only get so exotic on a short week. So it's like if you're a division opponent, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. You play these guys in many times, but when you're not, quarterbacks usually can have a field day on Thursdays if, in the opinion, you have a good offense or not. But if you do, you can. Kenyon Drake doesn't even attempt to go back and get that one. He was standing at the 10. Car comes out. What do you do now, Tony? Well, it, it, this is do really... You, do you try to do something? You got the one timeout. You got the Sean Jackson. I, I personally, they're going to down it. They're just going to go up here and down. Yeah, you see it That's down. what's going to happen. But it's one of those, how much time and your team and who you are and what against them, it's like one timeout. I don't think you can actually say we're more likely to get in field goal range than they are to get an interception. To turn it over. Or turn it over, and then yeah. they're automatically in field goal range. So I would down that and move on. Sixth overtime game all time. Thanksgiving for the Cowboys. Do you want me to take you back to a game or a play that I thought was no one's going to remember that I think was difference between winning and losing? Take it to two minutes if you're the Raiders instead of the false start with the head bob. Just take it to two minutes. Now you got second and three. The and after that, you'll have a minute and 20. Each team will get a possession unless the first team scores a touchdown or there's a defensive score. If the first team does not score, we're in sudden death. Fourth quarter timing rules apply. Each team will have two timeouts. All reviews are initiated by the booth. And if at the end of the 10 minute period, it's still tied, the game ends in a tie. Las Vegas, you're still the visitor. You'll call the toss. That's a tails and a head. Tails, heads. What's your call, sir? That'll be heads. He's called heads. <laughs> 
Heads is the call. That didn't sound very. It is a tail. Yeah, I was going to say, is just felt like it. Oh, no. Which way would you like to kick? Kind of made up his mind. Oh, no one told me what to do. Tails. Oh. Tails. It's heads. You're out of there. Next time we're going it's with someone Cowboys else. Cowboys football. Start the overtime in a moment. It's kind of a pooch kick here. Angled. To Pollard, who broke their hearts earlier, but not this time. Down there in a hurry is, is Hobbs. Remember, Hobbs was taken off the field and checked. Comes back out and makes a stop here on the kickoff to begin the overtime. This is such a huge play because it, it looked like a cowboy Turn penalty as well. Illegal block, block at the back. back. Yep. Receiving team number 57. Oh, wow. Half the distance to the Seven, goal. Eight yard First line. down. So this is where, if you do kick off, right, and you can somehow pin them back like that, we're literally right before then, 57 with a little bit of the block in the back. But this is where you could literally get a three and out and be at the 50-yard line, 45-yard yep. line, already in field goal That's range. Right. It's not the worst thing for Vegas if they can get a play. But usually, to get a three and out, you got to win on first down right here. From the seven. We saw Dallas beat New England in overtime on a touchdown throw to C.D. Lamb. He's not up today, and that's a gain of about three over to Zeke. What these two quarterbacks have done today, the show they put on without their best targets, it's been amazing. They're both approaching 400 yards. It really is, and it shows you just the talent level and the in the league, the depth of the quarterback. But here we go, Jim, right here. A oh, little bit of miscommunication on defense. Second and eight. He's trying to set up a screen. And they bring down Elliott at about the 13. That's Hankins. And now you got yourself a crucial third down coming up if you're Dallas. I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm going to jump ahead here. I'd run it and then I'd go for it and run it again. Wow. Or I would throw it and go for it again. I'm just saying, to punt here and the other team just needs a field goal. What are you going to get him at? Yeah. 50, 45. It's like. Let's see what Kellen Moore sent sent in. This is a huge play for the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the pressure. Forces Prescott to roll out. Throws. And it's incomplete. Oh. Of all the great throws Dak has had today, this is one of the one he's going to want back because. Tried to hit the backup wide receiver again with the starters out today. Noah Brown. He was open on this play, and Dak knows. Look at this. It's just down and away behind him, and he has all the room out in front. Still catchable. I don't know. I mean, Six catches for 53, but they needed that one as a seventh. You got to punt on fourth and four. But if it's fourth and one, would you go for it? Uh, you got to punt it here. And there is the punt. Oh, the anchor. Ooh, what a punt it is. Wow. Drives Renfro back to the 28. Crowd wants a they got it. They're going to have a block, an illegal block call against the Raiders. Wow, Jim, you're right. Take them back inside the 20. Talk about changing field <laughs> position. It's going to be called on Amik Robertson after the 59 yard punt. I mean, literally, you're punting the ball from your 12, 13 yard line. And now you're going to get the ball around the 20, 15. I mean, that's like, like the 15 or through that's the 15 like, That's 20. easily. 70, 60, 70, maybe even 80 yards <laughs> by the end of this thing. I mean, if they put it back, you punt it from the 13. If you get it at the 15, 15 to 15. That's 72 30, yards. 70. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team number 21. It's a 10-yard penalty. First down, Las Vegas. The next team to score wins the game. Well, the Raiders, I mentioned the Cowboys won an overtime game in New England. Here is the call on Robertson. It's so dumb. Just that right there. It's going to get called every time. And at the end of the day, this is where you just tell those guys, don't do anything silly. It's just, it's, These games all come down it's to It's amazing how often it happens. I can keep saying at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, it always comes down to this right here. Over and over. The, silly. the Raiders open the season with an overtime win over the Ravens. 33-27. That punt total netted out Tony 65 yards with the penalty involved from the 22 gonna swing it over and Jacobs 
lowers the head and gets a pickup of about eight. Well, I would always punt if I was going to for sure get a net of 72 yards. <laughs> I'm thinking net of 38, 40. They're going to get the ball at the 45, 50, and it's like they're already almost a field goal. It was an amazing job by Anger not to be overlooked. It's exactly right. If, they, if the Cowboys could somehow win this game, you got to go back to the punter right there. Carlson dreaming of having the chance to win it on Thanksgiving. Second and two. Dak with all those big time throws in the fourth quarter and then misses one there. Look at this. Breaking it into the secondary. It's Jacobs to the Cowboy 49. Got a big lead block by Daniel Helm and it goes for 21. No one thinks you're going to come out and just run the ball right at him here. Teams are tired. I love the call. You've got to give Greg Olson credit. Great job today. Wow. Raiders over 500 yards of offense. Well, they're right back to where I thought if they pointed Greg Olson, we just talked about right there. Impressive job. Now you got to get tight, right? Look at the Cowboys. They're going to get up on these guys. All the stuff right in here. You can't give them any room. Run it again. That time they had the answer with Micah Par Parsons making the quick tackle and a loss of one on Jacobs. Watch Parsons. Watch this, okay? I'm going to have you pause this, you guys, right here. Hit play, and then pause it in three, two, one. He has this gap, and he goes that way. Jim, that's insane. He goes from the inside back. He runs three different gaps over and over again. This guy is a stud, and they need him to have a big play right here. Second and 11. Second and 11 from the 50. Car in trouble, and the Cowboys get to him. It's once again Parsons. Just set the Cowboy rookie record for sacks with his ninth of the year. Couldn't have come at a bigger time. And he might have just set the record for possibly winning a game by himself in the overtime with the first play. Great job, multiple gaps. And then he just has a great rush right to the quarterback and just bull rushes. What a big time play. Here you go. The game's on the line, Jim. Give us your best call of the day. Third and 18. That lost seven. Watch Jackson on the near side. Carr was looking at him. Now he goes the other side. Down the field to Zay Jones. That's going to generate another flag on Anthony Brown for the fourth time today. He's flagged for pass interference. And the Raiders are in position with that penalty to win the game. They're in field goal range for sure. Of all the days... Zero penalties coming in. Anthony Brown, four today, and none bigger than that. That's interference. Right Defense number 30. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul and an automatic first down. Never turned around. Zay Jones caught his helmet. Wow, that was a huge play. Now, what do you do? If you're a fan. If you're a Raider fan, you're ecstatic right now. And if you're a Cowboy fan, dejected. What a football game. You got to protect it a little bit right here, right? Just hand this ball off. Go ahead. Cut back a little bit to the left. That's Jacobs fighting hard. The Hills tackle just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Can you bring Gene in? Because I want to hear what he thinks about that pass interference. Jim. Gene, the call. Yeah, when you're not playing the ball like that, if the defensive back can get his head around, then then he has a little more leeway for some contact. It might seem too technical if his head's around and he's playing the football. When you don't get your head around, they become much more technical about any contact or any restriction. And it's minor here, but he doesn't show that he's playing the football whatsoever. That was a 33-yard penalty on third and 18. Second and 10. They get that much closer for Carlson with Drake running it to the 20. And here would be 38 yards. That was a great explanation by Gene. As it was. And I'm glad we brought him out because you're, if you're a cover fan, you're like, where's the penalty, right? Because it's not like he's he some of the other stuff that's going to push him or holding him. We'll run another play here. Sometimes you kick it on third down in case there's some sort of mishandling on the field goal attempt. You can fall on it and still have life, but they're going to run a play third and six. I think you can also... Oh, my goodness, did he get it? Nope, he's going to be a couple yards short. 
as Dix loses his helmet, and it's only going to be about a 34-yard kick as the ball was advanced to the 16. Wow, the Raiders coming in with a three-game losing streak. Hadn't put up any more than 16 points the last three weeks. Looking for three more that would put him at 36 for the win. Would put him at 6-5 and five on the season. Would keep their hopes very much alive. Oh, yeah. They're right in the mix. And damage damage Dallas's oh. seeding hopes down the line. I mean, then you got to start thinking for Dallas. I mean, that's three out of four. They've lost. It would I mean, be. That's, that's shocking to this, but here we go. And three out of four, by the way, the three losses all to the AFC West. Yeah, two of them at home. Oh, you're right. AFC West. So <laughs> here we go. 34 yards for Carlson to clinch it. Oh, and a whistle first. <laughs> he absolutely oh. drilled that kick. Oh, timeout, Cowboys, I'm guessing. Before the snap, full start. Oh. Offense number 75. Oh. It's a five yard penalty. It's fourth down. Oh, man. As a kicker, right? It's not even the timeout one. It's Please actually... reset the game clock to 431. Your own little buddy over there, your teammate, just iced you. You just did it. And go do it again. Yeah. Right tight end right here, 75. Yeah. Wow, it's just a little flinch. Not much there, but it's still inside of 40. 39 yards. Yeah. It's a lot harder now, Jim. I tell you right now, you thought you already did it. Now. Carlson, the biggest kick of his career. Cowboys come busting across. That was good when interesting. Unabated to the quarterback. Neutral zone infraction. Defense number 29. Five-yard penalty. It's still fourth down. I uh, don't dislike that for the Cowboys. I'm like, you got to try and jump it at the exact moment, right? And uh, we saw a game earlier this year that Steelers might have actually blocked Steelers it. It was so Green close because they, yeah. they had a... I think they knew exactly when the snap was going to go, so they need to do that again. But That was Minka Fitzpatrick that day. Here comes again Carlson. This is becoming like a dance oh. step for him for the third time, standing over it. He's just one off sweat, Jim. Oh, no. And the Cowboys jumped. Ball hits the upright. But the Cowboys, again with Goodwin going early. Before the snap. And that'll be a first down. to the kicker, number 29, defense. This five-yard penalty results in a first down. Oh. Wow. No, now you got to bring your offense back on. I mean, Carlson could turn around and say, hey, guys, I got this. You can't do it a second time. <laughs> it's like it would be the fourth time, really, in some <laughs> respects. Although that one hit the upright, and he's still out there. Although Carr wanted it, but they get that much closer. Oh, they're just going to kick it right now. Yeah, just 29 yards, closer than a PAT. Ooh, I don't know if I love this. I mean, the percentages are good. Everyone's out there and everything, but you just let a guy three or four times start to get the rhythm of your snap all right right the movement let's reset one swig for it should be fine mark davis as both teams have so much on the line with one kick here we go this time for real and it is delivered good the raiders win it it was for real that time you were right what a game, Dallas. Great job in the fourth quarter coming back with too many penalties. Both teams, Dak Prescott wants that one throwback in overtime. They had the ball, but both quarterbacks, I thought, played really well today. What a crazy day. What a, just a glorious football game. Remember that extra point? It would never matter, right? <laughs> no, that's right.